My name is Eustace Moore Jr. I am the founder and CEO of Moore's Ideal Products since 1978. And the company was founded on the premise of designing and manufacturing badass RC parts. We started with two manual pieces of equipment and a few contracts, and we've grown to where we are now since then. During the early process, when we were actually had made the decision to purchase more machines, we thought it would be a great idea to give them all names. And the reason why is because the value that they brought to the company was just like bringing in another person. The first machine that was actually named was Bob. And we still have Bob. It's been almost 20 years, still running millions. We can run in the morning. The part will move maybe a tenth or two during the day just through ambient temperatures and run consistent all the way through the night. Every part we manufacture here on our Sagami machines comes off finished. The biggest thing that I see is the flexibility and a lot of times you just left to the imagination what you can do with them. You know, up to this point, after like 18 years of running them, programming them, it's amazing still that every now and then when you run into a bind, you, it's just about getting creative, you know, with tooling, with ways to do the part. Marrying those two technologies, the LMS product with the Sagami product, it allows us to run basically continuous manufacturing 24-7. And there have been jobs, literally, that we've run for three weeks at a time that have never shut down because we're always able to just load material, load material, and just keep running. What it's done for us has allowed us to go from two shifts down to one shift. We now run five days a week, only eight hours a day, as opposed to two shifts, 10 hours a day, four days a week. When I think about the future of MIP, I can't see a future without automation. The nice people at RIM and Ellison have given us opportunity and a glimpse into the future with the equipment that we have, and we're gonna continue down that road. It's beyond competing. It's actually being part of the 21st century.